If you've ever been in a relationship that's just not working out and bringing you down, you may have asked yourself, is it really just incompatibility or is there a deeper, more serious problem here? After all, although abuse and incompatibility are two distinct concepts in relationships, they can sometimes overlap or coexist. Covert or silent abuse refers to a form of mistreatment that is subtle, but damaging. And unfortunately, it often goes unnoticed because it may not leave any obvious signs. More psychological and emotional in nature, it involves tactics of manipulation, control, and abasement that erode a person's self-esteem and sense of well-being. With that said, here are five crucial differences that can help you identify if you're experiencing silent abuse rather than mere incompatibility in a relationship. Nature of the behavior. When someone is covertly abusing you, they will use tactics of psychological and emotional manipulation to gain power and control over you and your relationship. According to psychologist, Dr. Elizabeth Scott, some examples include gaslighting, passive aggressiveness, withholding affection, guilt tripping, and undermining your self-esteem. Incompatibility, on the other hand, is not meant to hurt or demean you in any way, but it's just an unfortunate consequence of having different interests, values, needs, and communication styles. This might manifest as frequent misunderstandings, arguments, or a general sense of feeling unfulfilled by the relationship. Intent of the behavior. Although sometimes people can be unknowingly toxic for us, it can cross the line and turn into abuse when these toxic behaviors become a consistent pattern and are done with malicious intent. So psychologist, Dr. Deborah J. Cohen, by contrast, incompatibility arises naturally out of the fundamental differences between people and doesn't involve a purposeful attempt to harm or manipulate the other. Simply put, in an abusive relationship, the abuser is aware of their actions and their impact on their partner. But while an incompatible relationship can be draining to our emotional well-being, it's not driven by conscious intent or even awareness of the harm being caused. Emotional psychological impact. Abuse, no matter how silent or covert, has a profound and lasting emotional and psychological impact on its victim. According to therapist Angela Holt, it can lead to feelings of fear, helplessness, low self-esteem, anxiety, depression, attachment issues, and other mental health concerns. The emotional fallout of being in an incompatible relationship can affect a person's well-being too, but we all understand that it's just a part of dating and falling in love. And whether or not we're able to resolve these differences, there is no severely detrimental psychological toll to being incompatible with someone. If you're finding this video particularly helpful, show us some love by smashing that like and subscribe button. We need your support to continue creating valuable content. Recognizing the issue. Silent abuse can be challenging to recognize because a lot of the time, even the victims themselves may not realize it's happening in the first place. Not that it makes it any less damaging. According to an article published by BetterHelp, this is because abusers often either deny the abuse or blame their victims for it. So much so that the victims themselves even believe it. Incompatibility, on the other hand, is easier to spot by both you and your partner and those around you because it's more apparent, like running in different social circles, struggling to find common interests and activities and having different lifestyles. Addressing the issue. Addressing silent abuse requires acknowledging the abusive behavior and taking steps to establish boundaries, seek support, and potentially leave the relationship if necessary, says mental health counselor, Alex Lickerman. It may involve therapy, counseling, or involving authorities in extreme cases. On the other hand, addressing incompatibility involves open and honest communication, active listening, and a willingness to compromise. Couples may work on finding common ground exploring shared interests, or seeking professional help, such as couples therapy, to improve their compatibility. It's important to note that this comparison is not exhaustive, and every relationship is unique. If you're still unsure about the dynamics in your relationship, it can be helpful to seek support from trusted friends, family, or professionals who can provide you with guidance and help you assess your situation better. Recognizing and addressing issues early on is crucial for maintaining a healthy and fulfilling partnership. So what are your thoughts on this video? What are some other ways you think incompatibility can be distinguished from silent abuse? Let us know in the comments down below. Have you been in an abusive environment growing up or an abusive relationship? We also made a video on six signs of people who have been abused. 